Hello everyone, my name is Darylin with It's My Life Darylin and today I'm going to talk to you about just a little update on a portable vacuum cleaner that I've used for a while and I've gotten requests to give them to give you guys a follow-up on what I think after I've been using this vacuum for years now. So if you'd like to hear more about this Home Depot portable vacuum cleaner then stay tuned. <music> thought that this was a thing until some years ago it's called the bucket the bucket vacuum and I think I still have a video when I did my first impression of this bucket vacuum and so, so this is the bucket head this is the way the box look and um, I'm pretty excited about it I've seen a few people use it and I just never thought about purchasing it you know but I definitely think it's something that every household should have at least this simple basic bucket head vacuum cleaner wet dry vac from Home Depot. So I've been using it for a while now and now I would like to just come back and give you my thoughts after using it for a few years now. So um, it's literally exactly what it's called the bucket vacuum cleaner. So here is the actual bucket. That's all it is. It's just a simple bucket. I already had a bucket, but I just wanted another one just, you know, to always keep it with this motor. It snapped on the side. It was pretty simple. At first I made it very difficult, but it snapped on both sides pretty easily. It was a little stiff at first, but like I said, I wasn't applying enough pressure to it. Comes with it. Uh, it comes with a hose. I realized that um, the cord is not very long, and I need to plug it into the wall in the garage. And so I'm gonna have to go get my extension cord. I think this cord is six feet. I think. And I think the hose is about four. Is my jacket coming off as peach? Because it's peach and it doesn't look peach. That bothers me. But anyway, I digress. I digress. I mean, I just go through all this trouble of putting some clothes on and then <laughs> and then the color doesn't show up on camera. But anyway, I have on a peach jacket today from Ann Taylor and some black slacks from Ann Taylor and a white shirt uh, from Banana Republic. I don't know why I felt like that. I wanted to tell you guys that today. I guess it's because my jacket does not look peach. It comes with filters um, that you throw out. You take the filters off after um, you want to use it as a wet vac. That's another thing. You can use it as a wet vac. And here is the hose, and I think this is the um, hose that comes with the bucket head, but you can actually get a longer hose from Home Depot to connect to your bucket head. And I do strongly suggest that you do that because I find it so annoying. This, this hose is just too short for a lot of things. Now this works out, this size hose works out just great if you are, you know, getting up some water like say the toilet overflowed and this is all you really need if the toilet overflows. But one thing people always forget is to remove that um, filter underneath the bucket head because you cannot, I repeat, you cannot soak up water if you have the bucket head attached to the filter. You can't, it will only fill up in this bucket with you know, removing the filter. Now it has a sensor on it of some type because once this bucket get a certain amount of water in it, it will automatically, the motor will shut off. Well, I had to punch up the ISO for you photography enthusiasts. You probably know what I'm talking about. I had to pump up the ISO just so you guys could see in here because my interior 
is black completely black in the car so I wanted you to see what I wanted to vacuum around the gas and brake pedal and um, I'm going to the car the car wash today but I wanted to you know like I said already I wanted to try the vacuum out at home because I can use it it'd be convenient if it works long overdue for a washing look at the running board good god okay so let me see how i'm gonna get this in here i don't think i need to put the whole bucket in there i just need to put the holes in there right <laughs> If you're um, on a tight budget and you need a portable vacuum cleaner, this is the vacuum for you. Guys, this vacuum cleaner, portable bucket head vacuum cleaner is only $25, $25. That includes the bucket, the hose, and the bucket head, which is the motor. That's really what the vacuum is. The, the, um, the bucket head, the part that, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's actually what uh, entails the um, vacuum. This is the bucket that just picks up all the trash or the water or whatever you're extracting. So it's a great little tool to have if you are on a fixed budget and you're, you're starting out somewhere um, cleaning someone's home. You need to use it to get trash out of the drawers and everything. I will tell you this is very loud. So you will want to get you some sponge ear plugs to plug in your ear so that you can prevent hearing loss because after long time usage, you can have some hearing problems from it. Um, the other, the, that's one of the cons. Now the other con is when you are using this, because it's not on wheels or has no type of support at all, when you're vacuuming with it and you're, you know, using the holes, this has a tendency of turning over. So you have to hold it with one hand to keep it from turning over while you're using it. And so I let it flip over a lot when I'm just vacuuming up trash and debris. But if you're actually vacuuming up water or extracting water, you definitely don't want this to tilt over. So that's it guys. That's my follow-up. That's what I think about this bucket head. I think it's still a great um, product to have in your arsenal. If you are on a tight budget budget and you're just getting started in business, or if you just want to have something like this portable around the house, it's good for getting out a lot of um, debris in your car in between the seats. It has the little tools you can use to um, you know, go between the seats and everything and vacuum out your seats. So yes, guys, I, I still recommend this uh, bucket head um, vacuum. I wanna call it a bucket head video so bad. So I just went ahead and said it and got it over with. <laughs> so that's it guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more shorts videos of me showing my personality. And I like to do shorts because it I, it gives me a chance to get off the subject sometime and talk about other things that of that is of interest to me as well as cleaning and organizing. That was a tongue twister. All right, guys. See you.